from Television City in Hollywood, the Red Skelton Show. David Rose and his orchestra, and Red's guest stars, Marilyn Maxwell and Steve Dunn. Now, here he is, the star of our show, Red Skelton. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're really very kind. I uh, have been receiving a lot of uh, nice letters. Somebody says, I liked your show two weeks ago. That new character you do called Milton Berle is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things happening. I see where Harry Truman has gone to Paris. He heard that the politicians over there were more confused than they are in America, so he's going over to pick up some pointers. <laughs> with housing, especially out here in California, I have what is known as a rambling house. <laughs> Between the floods and the landslides, you never know where it's going. <laughs> no kidding, out here, after you catch a bus to go home, you have to catch your house. <laughs> in, in, in back east, they build houses out of brick, and they can stand a, a windstorm up to 90 miles an hour. Out here, they build houses that will stand a 90-day escrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it, but it'll have to do. <laughs> the, uh, and and the, the, the walls out here are made very thin in most of the houses, and the flooring is very thin. As a matter of fact, the, uh, one, my, my wife the other day was uh, waxing the floor, and this gopher stuck his head through the floor. <laughs> he says, uh, it's all right to use that clear, but that raid is murder. <laughs> about houses. Out here in California, there's one thing, though, that we can do that they can't do very well back east. Well, a lot of people are doing it now. Is this do-it-yourself thing, like, uh, oh, uh, putting in fireplaces, outdoor barbecue pits, and uh, these different things. I, I give a, my impression of, of a guy hanging a window blind. Can I borrow my hat? Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, here. Uh, you have to imagine all this, uh, the, the, the window blind. <laughs>
Have you ever had a moment when your life seemed awful hard and you dreamed of chasing rainbows far away? You could swear the grass was greener in the other fellow's yard. Well, just listen to the things we're gonna say. We took a boat ride to New Orleans and dined on lobsters with rice and beans. We went to London and it was grand. But all the people spoke a language that we couldn't understand. We took some pictures right from the train of ancient castles we found in Spain. And yet wherever we may travel, wherever we may roam, we'll never face a place as nice as home. George Appleby, who wins the homestead right on TV. And he will learn the simple lesson that we have always known. There's nothing like a place that's all your own. <laughs> Now the program, you take your chances. And here is your master of ceremonies, Steve Dunn. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And welcome once again to You Take Your Chances. This, of course, is the show that, uh, that proves that people will do anything for a laugh. And, and I'm your host, the guy who says laugh and the world laughs with you. Cry and you get your face wet. <laughs> yeah. Well, before we start tonight's activities, remember the contestant from last week? You remember that fellow who had to dive in the tank at the aquarium and uh, retrieve those five pennies? Well, what he didn't know at the time was that there was a man-eating shark in the tank. Funny? 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 <laughs> well, look, I'm happy to report that that contestant was a real good sport. He was brave. He was strong. And according to the shark, he was delicious. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm just kidding. Nobody gets hurt on our show. We just have fun, fun, fun. Now, let's take a look around here at our audience tonight and see who's going to be our lucky couple this week. Uh, yeah. Let's go down and say hello. Well, nice to see you back. <laughs> so you brought a friend? Another one, huh? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> well, 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 well. Mother, how are you? Nice to see you tonight. Well, look, look who we have. Now, there is a likely-looking couple. Oh, yeah. Uh, you two married? Oh, no, we're not married. No. <laughs> we are. Uh, me and her, not him. I'm more of the Trujillo type myself. <laughs> Anybody want a free car? <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun, fun, fun tonight. Yeah. Would you two like to be on our show? Well, I don't know. We got... <laughs> Think at all, buddy. <laughs> Good thing you got pierced ears. That guy in the back of you couldn't see anything. <laughs> well, a pilot. Well, what about it? I don't understand. Uh, oh, he said yes, didn't you, dear? Yes, yes, yes. Well, come on, uh, right up on the stage, oh, Let's get started. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mount Whitney. Nobody hits my husband except me. Yeah, you hear that? Nobody hits her husband but her. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. Come on, folks. Come on. Come on. Hi. I know you take your chances, but this is ridiculous. Now, come on. Come on. We're going to have fun, fun, fun here. <laughs> Well, you, you, two, you two seem like a wonderful couple. Tell me, hey. how, how long have you been married? Well, let's see Oh, it's now. been longer than that. <laughs> well, how did you two lovebirds happen to me? Well, oh, I was in a motel one night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's <laughs> I was a, I was a very beautiful. 
beautiful girl, if I have to say so myself. And you do. <laughs> that is, you do look prettier now than you did then, even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, I used to live near the YMCA, and all the young fellas used to hang around outside. Well, whenever I passed by, you should have heard those wolf whistles. Yeah, well, one day I whistled back at her. <laughs> ah, come on. This is take your chance. Come on. We're going to have fun, 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 fun. <laughs> hey, you got that tank well, ready with that? Well, you better enjoy yourself, because when you get home, you're going to pay, 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 pay. Oh. <laughs> Look, let's get on with this. What's up? Well, they're laughing at the straight line. <laughs> let's, let's get on with the show, shall we? A Pasadena crowd usually like that once they get out of Pasadena. <laughs> Look, we have a little game of skill that we'd like for you folks to play tonight. Oh, excuse me, girls. Oh, oh. Oh, my wife won't stand for this at all. <laughs> Girls, uh, do you have the equipment? They sure do. <laughs> like the bread basket. Oh. <laughs> what I meant was the equipment for our game. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes Mr. Dunn. Dunn. Well, thank you, girls. Thank oh, you. Very well, thank you. Hey, here is a cigarette for you. you take that. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Holding your cigarette in your mouth. Will you put it in your mouth, please? We're not going to get raided, are we? <laughs> Mouth, and without using your hands, we want to see how many of these balloons that we have here on stage you can break in 30 seconds. Oh, I see. Yeah, oh. now depending on the number of balloons you break, you can win prizes ranging from a toaster right up to, and listen to this, a brand new house. No! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. Now, you start with these. Yes, I'll be glad. You start with these balloons over here. You start with these balloons over here. When right. I say go, break a balloon and then switch four. You ready? I'm scary. On your mark, go. the pinball machine the same way. <laughs> How about that, folks? We got a 22 balloon. 22. Which entitles yeah. this lucky couple to a brand new house. No! <laughs> That's right, folks. You have just won yourself a brand new, up-to-date, completely furnished home, and here is a picture of it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Believe me, it is all yours, folks, but on one condition. Yes. Listen carefully, you have to live there. Oh. <laughs> All right. You can't sell it, or if you move out, you forfeit ownership. Oh, oh no, don't you worry about that. We'll move in and we'll stay there. Yeah, oh, yeah. George, isn't it wonderful? We got a brand new house. Get uh, me! Uh, oh! <laughs> you idiot, you hurt me! I'm sorry. Looks like you got the hot cigarette habit the hard way. <laughs> bye bye, folks. Bye bye. There they go, the lucky couple. Now, all they have to do to keep that wonderful house, as I said, is to live there. But, <laughs> I have a hunch they're not going to stay there very long, because that house is haunted. I know it's haunted, because we're the ones who are going to haunt it. You see, we've got television cameras hidden in every room of that house. Well, practically every room, that is. <laughs> so we can watch everything that happens to them. Right here on our TV monitor. Oh boy, this is going to be fun, fun, fun! Watch carefully now, folks. Here they come. Here they are. Oh, I'm brand new home, and it looks just as beautiful inside as it does outside. Yeah. There. George, haven't you forgotten something? What? I want you to, because this is a brand new house for us, I want you to carry me across the threshold. Carry you across the threshold? Yes. You carried me across the threshold when we were first married, remember? Yeah. It was five years ago. It was 20 pounds lighter. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. There you are. Carry across the threshold. All right. Here you go. Oh, George. Come on, George. What are you wearing? Lead underwear? <laughs> Oh, 
time you bash my head against the door. Oh, really? Well, well. I'm sorry, dear. It won't happen again. Well, I'll just make sure you're sorry. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> George, isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. Simply beautiful. <laughs> and look at this big fireplace. Good heavens! Did you have your mother's stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must be the door to the kitchen. No, that looks like a ukulele to me. <laughs> Why don't you have a look upstairs? You better do something about that wolf on the rug. Oh, <laughs> Just watch this, folks. Oh. <laughs> kind of a place. What are you getting for rice cookies? <laughs> oh, George. Yes. George, isn't it wonderful? It makes up into a bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But say, listen, Practically George. put you to sleep, too. <laughs> George, I have an idea. <laughs> Darling, come here. <laughs> Why don't you build a choir while I go in the kitchen to fix us some dinner? All, all right. right, do that. <laughs> Take your soap at home. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Boy, I gotta fix that wood box as soon as I fix my fingers. They've been both ways now. Oh, I'll throw another log on the fire. <laughs> hey, fat boy! I don't care what your name is, get them reindeers off our roof! <laughs> Hey, there's no 
nothing in this middle drawer here. Oh, I put the book in there myself. Look again. Oh, yes, there it is. Now, wait a minute. The least you can do, dear, is take your slippers off. I forgot my slippers. I'll have to take off my feet. <laughs> oh, George, will you come to bed? Yes. And turn off the light. Let's get to sleep. Yes, yeah, dear. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Good night. Good night, dear. turn on the radio, here's where I go on the air. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you an important weather bulletin. Weather? A record-breaking snowstorm is about to blanket this entire area. A snowstorm in California? That's ridiculous. Oh, it's ridiculous. Why, look, it's beautiful now. <laughs> Good heavens. The storm has broken loose a gigantic glacier. No kidding. And an avalanche is moving down on us from Alaska. Oh. All residents of this area are warned to evacuate their homes. What area? Where do you live? We have... <laughs> 302 in Maple Street. That's the area. <laughs> Mr. Is Appleby, where are you? Come on out, wherever you are. This is fun, fun, fun. Good, clean sport. Come on out, Mr. Ms. Appleby. No glacier in Southern California. Wait a minute, it's me. Me, me, me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we go any farther, I know that you're anxious to meet those two wonderful contestants who won the house last week. Now, we sent Steve Dunn over to get them, and here they are, Mr. and Mrs. George Appleby. <laughs> and now, I'd like to have you meet Steve Dunn, who makes all this fun, fun, fun possible. Uh, Steve? Uh, Steve? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Appleby, did Steve Dunn come with you? He sure did. <laughs> because Red will be back in a minute. Next week, Red's special guests will be Charlie Ruggles, Marie Windsor, and Freddie the Freeloader. Ladies and gentlemen, may I say sincerely that I appreciate your sympathy and I appreciate your kindness for the past year and a half. Georgia, Valentine, and myself want to thank you for being so understanding. I'd like to thank two wonderful sponsors 
who were, gave us great consideration during these past two years, Johnson's Wax and the makers of Pet Milk. Tonight we were brought to you by Pet Milk, next week by Johnson's Wax. Till we meet again, I'll say for now, good luck and may God bless. Thank you. Cue the Red Skelton Show. Produced by Cecil Barker. Directed by Seymour Burns. Written by Sherwood Schwartz, Jesse Goldstein, Dave O'Brien, Red Skelton. Portions of the preceding program were pre-recorded. Roger Gilmore speaking. The Red Skelton Show is a CBS television network production.